You've probably heard of fintech and the companies disrupting financial services, the likes of Monzo, Revolut, Stripe, and many others. Well, insurance has a name for its disruptors too, InsurTech. InsurTech is the term given to companies using technology to disrupt the insurance industry. As you might have guessed, it's the meeting of insurance and technology. This has been popularized by companies like Lemonade or by products and services like Telematics, which use sensors to gather real-time data. It depends what you're looking for in terms of definition. InsurTech really is it's a relatively new phrase, but in terms of bringing together insurance technology, that's been around a long time. And actually, you would tie this to the growth of some of those big technology plays, like big data, like AI, like machine learning. Really, as they've evolved, InsurTech and FinTech have grown with them off the back of it as we apply those technologies to the products and services. InsurTech exists to disrupt quite an established but lethargic industry. Insurance has been around for a very, very long time, and rightly so. But fundamentally, it actually hasn't changed that much, in part due to high barriers of entry through regulation and capital demands, and in part to being large, established, dominant players. The world is changing, though, and organizations can't operate the way that they used to. Customer demands, customer needs, and customer expectations are changing. This isn't driven just from insurance. This is driven from changing expectations from retail, from banking, from telecommunications. It's these new trends and new customer expectations that are driving changes within the industry. This has been fueled by new technology and new data sources. Banking has been through this, hence the fintech. The regulation changes allowed suddenly an explosion of new disruptive players into the market. What we're seeing in insurance is that starting to spike right now. The new data is allowing us to create new intelligent services and propositions. Rather than historically looking at product silos, we can actually go after contextual new intelligent services that move up and down the insurance value chain rather than focusing just on car and home. We're not there yet, but this is just the start. InsurTech is fueled predominantly by probably two factors. One is certainly the technology, and these are the things like big data, AI, blockchain, sensors, driving things like IoT and telematics. All of this really is the technology side. The other change, though, is really more cultural and actually ways of working. Gone are the days of where we think of customers in particular product silos. Actually, we need to think of customers of how they live their lives. And where does insurance play within that space? And it's this mindset shift that the insurtechs or the disruptors that are really tapping into and fueling this with those technologies I mentioned earlier. Insurance is changing. Nobody likes insurance. <laughs> I think it's probably a common phrase. It was always seen as a grudge purchase. But actually, what happens if insurance was at point of sale? So when you buy a nice new car or you buy a new watch, or even if you buy a PlayStation, what happens if your insurance was immediate and automatic? The way we buy and sell financial products and services are changing. They're becoming more embedded into our everyday lives. This is true for all financial products within banking and payments, but also within insurance. The reason you should know about this is because as an organization, you have to cater to these new products and services in terms of for your customers. And as a customer, you have to be aware that actually there are a multitude of different options out there, not just the annualized products that you've bought in the past. The future is creating, to be honest, new experiences and new products and services. They will be much richer, more contextualized experiences. The products will be much more personalized and they use that with the data that they gather. Combining this, you will look at, really, products and services not in silos. So whether you're a company and you take on new employees, automatically your liability insurances can go up. If I'm a customer and I buy a new car, automatically that might get added to a lifestyle product. Quite a lot. 
enough for it to be valued at 119 billion US dollars by 2027. Over the last few years, we've had record-breaking year-on-year growth. It is a growing industry and it's growing fast. But that's just the tip of the iceberg on InsureTech. If you ask me, it's an incredibly exciting industry which I think will drive lots of innovation in the future. But don't just take my word for it. If you'd like to hear more, join us on our 11FS podcast, InsureTech Insider, or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Oh,